I'm going back to when I was about five years old and my cousin, he was three years older than me. He, he was surprised I couldn't ride a bike yet. It's like, you're five. You should be able to do this. And so he didn't tell me a lot of information. He just basically pushed me and then I fell and I cried and I did it again and again and again and again. And then I rode for a little while and I got excited and we didn't know how to stop. And so I fell again. And I felt a little frustrated, like maybe I should just quit. This isn't for me. Is that kind of what you're talking about? Like we should be okay to fail, like because we know that we, that's what's eventually we're going to be just fine. Or tell me a little bit more about your bicycle metaphor and how it plays into the podcaster listening. Look, here's the thing. It's like you said, it's going to be frustrating. You're going to feel frustrated. You're going to feel all the feels. And you can either be controlled by those feelings or you can dominate those feelings. And I like to say, like, like I said earlier, like I'm having fun because there was a point in time where I stopped having fun. I was really frustrated with the podcasting. I actually thought about giving it up like five times because I, I didn't want to be consistent and I got caught up on the technology. Every other podcaster that was just starting was just like, oh, nailing it, you know, 100 episodes in in one year. And I'm like, oh my God, I've got like three, you know? <laughs> so it, it was just a lot of comparing. And, and I just thought to myself, I think I stopped two things. I stopped having fun and I forgot my why, like why am I, why I'm doing this. And that's when I had to like bring it back in and just start having fun. And me and my co-host, uh, January Liddell, we just talked about this. I was like, man, if we're not having fun, let's not do it. I mean, for the fun episodes, obviously we have some serious ones too, but let's laugh at ourselves. Let's record some of our bloopers. You know, we do edit our shows, but we have the videos saved where we have bloopers and we're like, man, let's just enjoy this, you know, because your podcast is not my podcast. My podcast is not, you know, Sergio's podcast. Sergio's podcast is not Eleanor's podcast. And that's the thing. That's why we started podcasts in the first place. And that's why we all had different titles is because we're unique in our own way. So yeah, fall off the bike, get back up and say, Hey, let's, let's do this. Let's go. So we shouldn't be afraid to make a mistake. You should feel the fear and make the mistake anyways, and keep going. How do we get back on the bike? Like we've got our scraped knee, right? Um, Or... We broke, uh, 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 we broke our wrist or something, you know, like, and then it's healed and uh, we're seven or whatever. We're like, I really would like to ride my bike with my friends. Like, what do we need to do to get over the fear uh, for podcasting? Like, especially when we've made a mistake and it's been recorded and put out to everybody. Well, fortitude, you know, you, you didn't come this far to just come this far. You've probably been through worse things in your life. And if you're going to do any comparing, compare, compare them to the battlefield you've already faced. So not everybody else in the, in the environment, but yourself, you know, like look at your age. First of all, I like to think, I'm, okay, I'm 42. So I'm just like, man, when I was in my thirties, I went through a hell of a lot, a lot of storms. And then I always think, is this that bad? Like, is it that bad? I mean, come on now, you know, in comparison. And once I do that, I'm like, it's like this cape I put on. Oh my God. Like the cape's back on. I'm ready to, like Joe Rogan says, and all these other people say, like, be the hero of your own story. Right. So just put that cape on and keep going. 